In this video, I'm going to make this pen holder, a pen stand. It's uh, shaped like the letter C, or however you want to describe it. It's crescent shaped. So what it does, I'm making it for this particular pen. It's a pen out of a set, a cross pen, pencil set that I had from years ago. And it's made specifically for this pen. This is just a practice piece I made with a scrap of wood as my second try. I had to, I had to do two to get the, the angle the way I wanted it. So anyway, I'm going to draw this pattern. I'm going to show you how I drew this pattern I'm using this graph paper and a, and a compass. And uh, then drill the holes, or drill this hole especially, before we uh, cut it out. It'll be real simple to cut out. And I've, I've made a blank. Uh, I wanted it one inch thick. So I got some mahogany and some aspen and I laminated that to give me a little, little, uh, little different look there. And I wanted a little thicker than this three quarter inch. Uh, it's a little more stable. Three quarter inch is okay, but I wanted a little more stable uh, sitting on a desk or wherever you put it. So. Let me get this stuff out of the way, and I'll show you how I drew the pattern. I've got these weights here. Keep this paper from moving as I'm working on this bench top. Make sure I got this set right. Kind of use that grid to keep things lined up the way I want it. And it's going to go off the table, but that, the paper, but that's all right. I just want enough to make that crescent shaped. All right. And we'll reset. And we'll come out to about, well, let me get a better pencil here. And we'll come out, let me see where I did it, you know, right here. Come out to about here to make a point. Let's go out that line. And then I'm going just use my wrist and just draw a little curve right around to here. And we, when I'm going to cut this line, I'm going to have to mark that and make sure I don't when I come around. Then I like this angle, so I'm going to re-replicate it. Just barely got me enough paper here. So that's about the center. I'm going to cut it out here. And I'll cut this right here. Give myself a little extra that I can work with there. And that'll... I'll cut this off once I get the hole drill. I'll hold the drill. I drill the hole before I even cut this while I still got a square piece of wood of material. And uh, then I'm going to cut that off in the middle of the, the drilled hole once I get this piece cut out. So let me get that cut out and mounted on my piece and then I'll see about drilling it. So I've got it set up on my drill press. I want to drill that just want to get a starter hole in the right angle here. I'm not going to necessarily drill the whole thing because with this height, I don't have room in here. This is as low as this will go. It may go a little bit lower, but not enough to get a drill bit in there. Got this little short, stubby uh, wood screw hole drilling thing. Uh, and I just want to get an angle started. I got the center of it marked. That's one reason I wanted to use this, this laminate. I could find the center easier. So I got the angle correct. And I cut this off because I didn't have room with that on there for this. This is as low as I can go, like I said. So, and this gives them less likely to wander when it hits a flat surface. So I'm just going to get a starter hole there here, uh, drilled at the proper angle. And then I'll get my hand drill and, and finish drilling it. Now I'm going to drill it with, a, with this 
aviation a bit. Not no particular reason for getting this long one. That's just a good, the right size. That's an eighth inch, and I kind of want to go with that next. I'll go to a larger one that'll match my uh, uh, my pen. But uh, this will be easier to drill. With this, so that's the reason I'm using it. Believe that's all the way through. I'll change bits. And... All right, I've drilled that just larger than five sixteenths, and I've got it a little further than I need to go right there. So now I'm gonna take the saw. I've got a number five blade in, and I'm gonna start cutting it. Like I said, I'm gonna leave this a little bit on here right now. Once I get it cut, I'll see where to cut it through that mark. I'm gonna add me a little extra down here. Right in here, I gotta drill a hole, but I'm gonna do that later. It's just a little indentation for the point of the pen to sit in. Okay, so I've got another new number five in here. This is going to be a fairly easy cut. Um, I'm going to cut this inside first and then I'll come around and cut the outside. So I held the pin in place, mark my spot right there, and I'm going to put a little spot there with my awl to get me a good spot to drill. And I'm going to use this long 1 8 inch drill bit. You just need a little bit there. That's a pretty fine point on that pin. So I'm going to try to drill that just a little bit. No, oh, that works perfectly. Yeah, I should have cut this a little longer. I'm going to sand that a little bit, give it a little more room in that cradle. Because uh, it, uh, I'd like it a little further in, but I'll sand that a little bit. I should have cut it a little further out instead of right in the center of that. Uh, but I'll, I'll work on that with some sandpaper and make that work good a little better. And sand it all off and do a, put a finish on it and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, a little bit of sanding. I rounded all the sharp corners. Rounded up uh, the corners here on this a little bit on the sander. Put a uh, coat of finish on it. So that's uh, aspen and uh, mahogany. I like one of the mahogany. It's a little darker than the other. But I really like the way mahogany looks. Anyway, that's the finished product. It came out pretty well the way you want. I still would like to have a little deeper cradle there for it, but it works okay. I saw this actually in a video from, from a year or two ago. It's a British channel. Uh, looks like it was a, a channel that was owned by a manufacturing or some sort of woodworking company. Uh, they had a scroll saw that was their brand name, like an axe minister, or I believe was the name of it. Anyway, uh, I saw it and I thought I would try it. I really liked it. It's simple, but it's very elegant looking. Uh, I really liked the way that turned out. That was actually my third try. Uh, the second one I liked a little better, had a little better cradle on it than this one does, but it works. 
So I have another pencil holder I'm going to try for the next video. I kind of was looking around and saw another one I kind of liked. It holds four pencils or pens. But this one really is intended for if you uh, uh, are, are turning your own pens or, or making your own, and you can make one uh, to just make this to display a really nice, pretty pen. Especially you could match the material in the uh, in the holder and the material that's on the pen. I think that'd be a good idea. I might even try making some of my own pens uh, in the future, and I may use this as an idea. Anyway, I hope you like that. If you do, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, then subscribe because I'm, I'm liable to make just anything. You know, no telling what I'll try next. I'll say something, and I will try it. And I'll see patterns, and I'll put my own spin on them sometimes, try to make them, put my own ideas into it. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.